the TA members can get it. Question number 10, Ian McKelvey. Thank you, Mr Speaker. And my question to the Minister of Corrections. What recent announcements has she made to reduce re-offending in prison? Honourable Anne Tolley. Uh, Mr Speaker, I recently launched a comprehensive prisoner education strategy that will give prisoners the skills and qualifications they need to find work when they are released from prison. For the first time, every prisoner will have an education assessment when they enter prison, which will be used to develop an individual learning and training plan. This will enable corrections to provide targeted and results-focused learning programmes to prisoners, supporting them to gain qualifications. And for the first time, we have set ambitious education targets to ensure that we will get the results that we need. So by July 2017, 85% of youth prisoners will be involved in NCEA Level 2 qualifications and 55% of prisoners aged 25 to 34 will receive support towards NZQF qualifications at level four or above. Supplementary, Supplementary question in McKelvey. Thank you, Mr Speaker. What role does education play in reducing re-offending? Well, Honourable Anne Tolley. Research has consistently shown that offenders who are in employment and have stability in their lives are less likely to re-offend. Most prisoners cannot read or write properly, and if this isn't addressed, prisoners on release have difficulty adjusting to life on the outside, have difficulty finding work, and too often return to crime. So this new education strategy will ensure that prisoners are given the opportunity to gain the skills they need, and this complements the other work we're doing in our prison to increase drug and alcohol treatment. I'm happy to give you some advice on that, Mr Peters. Getting prisoners off drugs and giving them educational qualifications and employment training will ensure we meet our better public service target of reducing re-offending. Uh, point of order, Speaker. Speaker. And you would have heard what that Order. member said, Order, and I, I want to tell her. I can't hear what the You would have heard voice. what that member said, and I want to tell her if she wants a free fall for her and her colleagues, Order. she'll get it. Order, and that is not a point of order. Question number Supplementary 11. Question. Supplementary question. Order. If the Right Honourable Winston Peters is going to continue to bellow across the chamber, I will be asking him to leave. Question number 11. The Honourable and. Order. Supplementary question. I have a supplementary question from Asnati Lolly Taylor. Sup supplementary question, Asnati Lolly Taylor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, supplementary question to the Minister of Corrections. Is the Minister aware or know of the completion rate of those prisoners undertaking rehabilitation programs to address their sexual violence offending? And if not, why not? <clears throat> Honourable Anne Tolley. Oh, Mr Speaker, we have uh, a number of rehabilitation interventions for offenders charged with sexual offences. And uh, I don't have the figures in front of me. I'm happy to provide the member if she wants to put that in writing to me. But in fact, they can be very successfully uh, trained to deal with their uh, problems. And, um, and of course, there is quite a rigorous post-release uh, arrangements to make sure that they uh, do not cause more harm in the community. Question number 11, the Honourable Annette King. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question